Hello, everyone. Welcome back to one of our final discussions of an anime that ended in spring 2022. Today, we will be talking about RPG real estate. This one, if you remember correctly, was the fantasy uh, show in which it centers around four girls that you can see here who are employees at a real estate company. And basically they go around showing off various properties to their clients and making sales, all that good stuff, right? It just so happens to take place in a fantasy world where there's magic and swordsmen. And uh, like 15 years ago, there was a demon lord that got defeated and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> boy. Boy, boy, boy. So this show, like I said, basically centers around them doing real estate stuff. However, kind of in the middle, towards the end, it starts having like a subplot. And actually, there's a subplot for like a while throughout it that happens. Like at first, it's just like it, it gets mentioned. They see it like a newspaper or something. After that, it comes up a little more often. And then a little more often at the end. And then finally, that's the main thing that's happening. And uh, yeah, pretty crazy. And uh, what happened is not what I thought was going to happen. But yeah. So anyway, on to the main like substance of the show. And that is the, the RPG, uh, the, the, the real estate thing, right? Because that's what you're going to see most of, is them selling properties. And it is pretty entertaining because it's not like they just go to like one house an episode and, you know, they just show it around and then they make the sale and it's done. There's always like extra stuff like they, they discover treasure or um, they go to like a hot spring or they ride around on mystical beasts and stuff like that. There's always like some sort of like fantasy element to it. So it's not like it, it just is normal real estate that just happens to take place in fantasy. It is actually like fantasy, but they're real estate agents, right? Okay. So it, it kind of is, is better than I thought it was going to be. However, my main, like, it was great. Okay, don't get me wrong. But the ending, a total cop-out. And it just, like, takes away any of the buildup that occurred. Like, man. So, we tried to do it without spoiling it. And I don't want to discuss spoilers for it, just for no reason, really. Because it's only, like, one real thing that there's a thing to spoil about. But in the last couple of episodes, it leads up to something. And then the last episode just kind of cops out what happened. And, yeah. It's just like, really? Really? And then everything reverts back to how it normally is. And so, uh, anyway, the, the RPG real estateness continues going on. And so they can continue to do their real estate jobs, all four of them together. Yeah. Now, that said, it is basically like a slice of life kind of show. Um, it's, it's just about their daily lives, really, with some fantasy elements sprinkled in here and there. So if there would be a second season... Would I watch it? And, and is there room, I suppose, to have a second season? Um, first of all, I would not watch a second season just because I'm not really that interested in watching them do real estate stuff all the time. And uh, even if there is like a subtle plot line underneath all the real estate stuff, it would just not keep my interest long enough to, for me to care about it. Now, would there be a second season? And that is yes. Due to what happens in the last couple of episodes, there is some unresolved things that uh, do need to be wrapped up. So a second season could happen. Although I do pretty much doubt that uh, a second season will happen. Many shows don't get a second season. Like, unless they're really, really, really popular. 
And uh, this one does not strike me as one that is that popular. So I, I highly doubt it will get a second season. But yeah, those, that's my thoughts and opinions on RPG real estate. And uh, by the way, the RPG stands for Rent Plan Guide, if you were curious. Uh, but yeah. So that's really all that I got to say for it. The next video will be out real quick, like, because three happened to finish today. And uh, we'll talk then. So until then, bye for now.